Hey everyone, Ian from the future here with a real quick update for the Pixel 2 review. During the original recording, I mentioned that I had broken the headphone adapter, the uh, the USB Type-C to headphone jack adapter, um, within just like a couple of weeks of owning the, uh, the phone. And so at that point, I wasn't sure exactly, you know, <clears throat> what I was going to be able to do to remedy that fact because uh, they were out of stock at the Google store and, you know, Target didn't carry any USB-C to headphone adapters. And uh, so, so I've had a little bit of an adventure since then. I did go and try to buy some adapters on Amazon, some fairly cheap ones. And as it turns out, this was, you know, of course, not very well advertised by Google, but the the way that they implemented the headphone adapter system on the uh, on the Pixel Two, the Pixel Two only will transmit a digital signal over USB C. They did not implement the analog audio over USB C implementation, which means that the headphone adapters that you buy have to be the type that have a digital to analog converter inside the adapter itself. And of course, the cheap ones that I was trying to get on Amazon were just analog pass-through. Um, so they didn't have a digital to analog converter inside them, which means that they were incompatible with the Pixel 2. And, well, to its credit, the Pixel 2 did know enough to recognize that hey you're you're plugging in an analog adapter that's incompatible with me so it let me know and uh and yeah so i i did end up having to go and buy a couple more adapters from the google store when those came back into stock but in the meantime i went and bought myself some uh, bluetooth earbuds we might be reviewing that 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 model as its own full review later on but another thing came to light regarding the the implementation of USB-C on the uh, Pixel 2 as well, and uh, and that was that I was trying to buy a USB-C to VGA adapter for uh, one of the computers that I have access to here at school, and and I wanted to make sure since my dream with USB Type C is to have all of these different devices all the way from my phone up through you know desktops that have USB-C ports and and I want to own a whole bunch of peripherals you know whether they are natively USB-C or just you know using USB-C adapters um, all these peripherals that can work with any of my devices no matter how big or how small the device is right and so I was so I was thinking to myself like okay when I'm when I'm looking around for this USB-C to VGA adapter, I got to be careful. I don't want to pick one of the ones that uses Thunderbolt, because I know that my phone doesn't doesn't have Thunderbolt. That's just you know that's not an expectation that I have of my phone. But what I did want to do was I wanted to make sure that I got an adapter that uses the DisplayPort over USB protocol. All right. So I go and I find find you know one of those on Amazon and I'm like okay that that looks good let's let's try buying that one but I kind of second guess myself a little bit and I'm glad that I did because I, I then went and just looked on a few other user forums and stuff to see if people had been able to find adapters that would work with the Pixel 2 specifically and as it turns out the Pixel 2 doesn't implement DisplayPort over USB-C at all Google did not build in any method for us to be able to plug in, you know, a wired connection to this phone and and pass that onto a uh, onto a monitor. So I I can't I can't project from my phone onto any screen via a wired connection. It's ridiculous. And I mean like to be fair, I have never encountered a situation in the past where I was able to like plug in my phone to to a monitor it's unlikely that I will encounter many times in my life where I want to plug in my phone to a projector or to a screen or something like that but you never know right that's you know I, I want that possibility 
to exist for me. And I, and I want to make sure that all of the USB-C devices that I'm getting are implementing it to the, to the fullest extent of their abilities, right? Because otherwise I'm just, you know, artificially limiting myself. And so I'm very sad that the Pixel 2 doesn't live up to that ideal because this means that, you know, for, for the next uh, two or three years or however many, however long I have this, this phone, right, I won't be able to live in a world where I have a laptop and I have a phone and I can plug either one of them into, you know, a projector or, you know, whatever peripherals I'm using. But at least at least it does implement the power delivery USB standard so I can, you know, charge all of my devices via, you know, just one one cable at least. Um and and you know, most most other like regular USB devices peripherals work with the pixel 2 just fine um but you know that they, they don't seem to to have taken advantage of any of the alternative modes that uh that exist on on USB-C so that's that's kind of disappointing other than that though it's still a, a really good phone so continue listening here for the original review as it as it came out just a few weeks ago cheers <laughs>